Hello, hello everyone. This is Brian Zimco Survival. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Make sure you guys go ahead and get all the notifications for our new videos. And leave us a comment. Let us know how we did on this video. We always like to hear from you guys. So, today... <clears throat> sorry about that. Today, I'm doing a review video. And this one is on the Mora Elders. Now, I've had this knife for a very long time. Um, I have been doing a lot of testing with it and you know experimenting and all that kind of fun stuff for you guys and I'm going to go ahead and start off with kind of the history of this knife really quick um, in that it is unlike most knives um, as you can see it's definitely a neck knife um, but its design is completely different than other neck knives and when it first came out there was a bit of controversy about this knife because it was big for a neck knife, but too small to be a regular knife. So it fell into this, this kind of gray zone as far as knives go. You know, you have your, your neck knives, which tend to be about that long, and then you have, but have very small handles and everything else. They're just small little knives. And then you have your regular knives, which tend to have full-size handles and longer blades. Well, this one here, as you can see, has a decent blade for a neck knife, but a big, almost completely full-sized handle, which made it odd. It was the first kind of neck knife like this, and it made it odd. And there was a lot of there were a lot of people joking about it, and a lot of people who said, "Oh, it's great! I love it." So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick one up and test it out for myself. I was one of those people, you know. I called it a sharp thumbnail. It was, you know, to me, it was one of those kind of knives where what are you really going to use it for because it's so small but it's big to put around your neck so what purpose does it truly serve and but i decided you know what i'll do a review on it i picked one up and um was pleasantly surprised this knife has actually seen more use than most of my knives i actually carry this thing out everywhere i go fishing with it i do pretty much everything if i'm going out in the woods i have this around my neck and it's really funny because I wasn't expecting that. But let me go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about the knife um, itself. So let's start this thing off. God, it's hot out here. Whew, 100 degrees doing a review. Ah. So there's your knife. Now this is the one with the complete kit. Um, that means it comes with the lanyard, the ferro rod, the little retention strap thing on the top here, and the actual knife itself. Um, I did that just because I like the extra security of having the strap on it, not because it was fancy or whatever the case may be, but I got it because I like that extra security. That's just me. When it comes to something hanging around my neck, I like to make sure it's not going to come out. And more she's are known for being very good quality, but there is that possibility of the knife coming out. So I wanted to make sure that I had that extra security on there. Um, but the sheath is just like the more garbage sheath, just made smaller. You have your drainage holes slash lanyard holes here at the bottom. Um, your retention collar here can come off. Let me make sure I don't cut myself. It's really, really tight, but you can slide it off just like the Garberg, um, which makes it awesome in my opinion. Um, the you know, overall standard, more friction style you know, retention, good overall sheath. Nothing to complain about with that. The knife itself is made is partial tang and is not full tang, but you know it's a neck knife. It is 2.4 millimeters in thickness, so it's not ultra thick, but it's not ultra thin. It does have a full 90 degree spine on it, and it is made out of the um, 12C27 Sandvik stainless steel. So it is their standard you know, stainless steel, which means it's a good stainless. It does hold its edge fairly well, although over time it does need to be resharpened. Um, I noticed that it does need to be sharpened now. I don't know if you guys can see the edge. It's, it's pretty, you know, pretty dull. But it still cuts fairly well, and to demonstrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and feather stick a toothpick for you guys here in just a minute. Um, as far as striking ferro rods go, it is my actual preferred ferro rod striker. So when I use a ferro rod now, this is pretty much what I grab because it is exceptionally good at throwing sp 
parts without too much effort, you know? So, in my opinion, it is an awesome ferro rod striking knife. By far my favorite, and the one I use 99% of the time, I grab my elders. Um, awesome little knife for that kind of stuff. But mainly, I find its purpose, and what I use it the most often for is general, you know, around the camp kind of stuff, cutting cord, um, notching sticks for tent pegs, you know, stuff of that nature. Things that you don't need a big knife for. So I find myself just popping it off my neck a lot more often than I thought I would. And because of the handle on it, it makes it comfortable to use long term. Because they put the Garberg handle on it. So you have the same handle and as you can see it's got a good full palm swell on there. So it's very comfortable. And for a neck knife, that's unusual. And I think that's the reason I grab this so often is it is a comfortable knife and you can sit there and use it for a long period of time without hand fatigue, which is saying something for a neck knife. But it does have the grippy rubber. The dark red is grippy. The light red is the textured plastic. And this right here is where your um, retention goes for the sheath. That's where it actually snaps into the sheath. Um, but overall, I think it's an absolutely awesome little knife. I've had absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. I mean, just fantastic. But let me go ahead and show you guys this thing doing the toothpick, and then we will kind of finish up the review a little bit. Because you're not going to baton or anything like that with this. It's, it's a carving knife. It's the kind of knife you'd use when you sat down to carve out, like I said, tent pegs, things of that nature. It's not something you're going to do major work with. But the thing is, most of the time, you're not doing major work. You're doing basic small tasks with your knife and having a small knife that is that excels at that is awesome because it's actually before I do the toothpick let me show you something it's actually double ground so you have a scandy here and a flat grind on the uh, the belly here so you can get those nice shavings on the belly and then do nice push cuts with the scandy so it works very very well um, excellent knife let me move forward, actually move you guys forward here a little bit. There we are. So I can show you guys this toothpick. Now, it is dull, so I don't know how excellent this thing will be, but it should still work just fine. Let me go ahead and show you guys how well this thing, whoop, cut the top off. Cut the top off again. All right, it appears that it's a little too dull to do this with. But I got some curls, so let me just kind of show you that. Yeah. But it seems to be a little too dull. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do the whole thing. But as you can see, it is capable of feather sticking a toothpick. Um, just not right this second. I got to sharpen it. <clears throat> if that shows you guys how much I actually do use this thing. Um, but my overall review of it has got to be a 5 out of 5. It is an awesome little knife. No matter what your opinion is, no matter what camp you fall into as far as, ooh, this thing is a gimmick. If that's what you believe, I challenge you to buy this knife and not fall in love with it. I did not think it would be a good knife. Um, I bought it simply to do a review for you guys, and I was not expecting to do an excellent rated review. I figured it would be too gimmicky. But I fell in love with this knife. I absolutely love it. I use it constantly. And I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick one up. Even if you don't believe it's worth it, just pick it up, play with it, and challenge yourself not to fall in love with it because it is that good. It is an awesome little knife. Um, but as always, that's the end of my review. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments below, let me know what you think. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. That helps us out a lot. But thank you guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.